so excited and so, oh my God, overwhelmed to just tell you guys that we are expanding. We are doing some wonderful things. Um, before we get all the way into that, I want to tell you guys about what happened yesterday. Yesterday, we had a fantabulous coaching class. What I decided to do um, in this new place where I am, I wanted to give you guys coaching, but I wanted to make it just merely just free. You know, yesterday we had about a good 22 people to sign up. Um, the class was about $5 each or whatever. Um, and it ended up being just like 15 people on there. And I'm telling you, it was so awesome because so many people were able to help each other. You know, I don't have a website through Shopify. I don't have a website through Webly or anything like that. But it was other people on there able to help people. It's like, oh, if you use a promo code or you do this, giving tricks and tools. Because I don't know everything. So you got other people on there who are advanced. You got people on there that are just starting. So any week, it could be 20 people. It could be 30. It could be 50. It don't matter. Everybody get a chance to talk. We stayed on there yesterday for about an hour and a half, almost two hours. And if you on there and you need to get off, you can just get off but anyway that's what we did and on the weekends we're doing the um um $12, I think it's $12 Wiccan class. So these are really inexpensive tools because sometimes you need to talk to somebody. You you may not be using the same way. When you go on those Facebook groups, people will lead you all around the board. Some people get in there answering questions and they have never even made a candle in their life. You don't know who's behind the keyboard. So what these classes do for you, these Wiccan classes give you one-on-one -on -one with candle makers um, just like you. It is me. You know what I mean? And I consider myself to be advanced. Like I've studied this thing out and that's why I'm able to help you guys so you do not want to miss it the classes is only $12 guys like it's not like you're getting and paying $300 you are paying $12 you're learning how to wick your candles you're learning the wick guide you're learning what wick go with this wax what wick don't go with this wax you're learning about paraffin cocoa soy soy tin 464 444 uh, you name it we talk about everything, okay? We talk, we got all kinds of paraffins, um, Pro Blend 600, all the waxes we do, we, we do go over. The only wax we really don't go too deeply in is beeswax. So if you're a beeswax user, this is not for you. It's definitely not for you. So we, we go over wicking and we do talk about wood wicks, but not as much as, you know, we do with cotton wicks. So if it's, you know, you're looking for more of a direction with wood wick, this is not the class for you. So listen, getting beyond that, we're going to do a cold candle. I just want to tell you guys the supplies that I have. Now, I got these molds from Flexi Mold. They're very inexpensive, so I ordered like three at a time because I didn't want to just keep pouring one little cheesecake, one little cheesecake, one little cheesecake, and one little cheesecake. You guys understand. So um, I got these from Flexi Mold. Uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm going to take this, this mold and I'm going to pour the white part in. I'm going to like... Find a way to incorporate the crust. So, you know, you guys stand by. This is getting ready to be very interesting. <laughs> so we got that. And then um, I'm using some gel wax. Uh, this is the gel wax that I use. I use this one from Hobby Lobby. But a lot of people say that the gel wax is no longer available on Hobby Lobby. And if that's the case, um, I have a few places where you can purchase gel wax. You can purchase gel wax from the candle maker store. You can purchase gel, gel wax from Nature's Garden. And if you go ahead and just Google it, I think Aztec sell gels with gel wax as well. If they are sold out, sold out. If they are sold out. There's other places you can just Google it. It will come up. Um, some people go on Amazon and buy gel wax. Gel wax is very expensive. So if I was you, like I only use gel wax for like drizzle and like making stuff to look like syrup and stuff like that. Maybe some ice cubes, maybe not because if I'm doing a bulk order, I'm not going to want to like make it out of those gel cubes. That is a very expensive wax. So it's just for little stuff like pouring and drizzle. Um, I'm looking because I have like a bag somewhere over here with gel wax in it and that's the one I'm getting ready to use instead of this one but anyway anywho getting on down with it we're going to need some red you're going to need some red candle dye I purchased my red candle dye from flaming candle um you're also going to need uh some strawberry um I have some strawberry pieces right here like just some you don't know, need a strawberry mold uh you need a cherry mold we're going to chop up these uh little tiny strawberries and we're going to basically turn those into like Let's say we 
we're just going to turn them into like little chunks so it can kind of go inside of the gel so we can get that chunky look. We're going to do some pouring onto it. I mean, guys, listen, this is getting ready to be something that's really cool. You can definitely turn this into a wax melt. If you want to make it into a wax melt, you can use like your um, tart wax and do it. Or you can turn it into like a candle. And if you do turn it into a candle, you're going to have to double wick it because if you use one wick, it's going to burn straight down. It's not going to cover the whole diameter. You're going to need two wicks and probably like two Ego 4 or two CD6s. If you need help with double wicking and stuff like that, just remember we do, do, we do offer these classes on the weekends where you can go and click on everything in the description box and it can lead you right where you need to be. Okay, so make sure you have a pouring pot. Make sure you use like a um, Presto pot because gel does need direct heat. You cannot double boil gel. So if you're using a crock pot, a, a Presto pot, or you're just using it on a stove, the stove is just as good. Remember that gel temperatures, remember that um, gel do have like uh, temperatures that you cannot go over when you add fragrance. Like I would say, uh, I would stay under 200, like basically whatever your fragrance oil that you're using, if it says like the flash point is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, I wouldn't go over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Guys, listen, all of this is um, basically in these videos. If you go on my university, I teach classes about this stuff. Let's go ahead and get right on into it because some of y'all already know this information. I don't want to hold y'all up. I don't want to hold y'all up. I don't want to hold y'all up. Let's get it. Okay, my lovely friends. Now, of course you can use some candle dye. I had got this candle dye off of Amazon a long time ago. Uh, if you needed to use candle dye to make your red drizzle for gel, it is okay. I have used it a lot. <laughs> so you can li use liquid. Um, this is one of my favorite fragrances. This is um, cherry cheesecake. I do have a strawberry, which I planned on taking and mixing with just like a cheesecake from Aztec to do like a strawberry cheesecake. But this is for me. I'm going to be using this in my warmer. So I'm going to use cherry cheesecake, but I am going to decorate it as strawberry. Okay, so our little cheesecake holder holds about a good four ounces. So we need about four ounces of wax. So this would be like 12 ounces total. So I'm gonna be mixing my wax today. I'm gonna be using soy and paraffin. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and pour, 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 pour. I'm not gonna fill it all the way up. I'm going to fill it up to a good amount. Okay, and then when you have leftover, then you just pretty much just go and you fill up the whole mold. I always like to make sure I have enough. I don't like to go back and do it over. That's just me. Okay. Looking like I got too much. There's gonna be a little tab left over and that is fine. So we're gonna go ahead and let that solidify. And once it's solidify, we're gonna pop it out and then we're gonna uh, take and we're gonna decorate it after that. So right now, this is a perfect time to get your gel wax. Take your gel wax out and start melting it. We're gonna make this look as realistic as possible. I'm just using these two uh, for right now. And I'm gonna make two slices. So take some crumble, and I have a video that I'll link in the description box to teach you how to make crumble, but um, take some crumble and put it inside of a container, and I'm going to tell y'all what to do with it in a little bit, but take some crumble and put it inside of a container. Um, just make sure it's the crumble that's really like crumbs, like not too many lumps, but just make sure it's like crumbs. And then for this particular container, I want you to fill this up with hot wax you know when the time is right so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour our cheesecake slices okay i'm going to take my wax and i'm going to transfer it okay so we're going to pour our cheesecake slices Fill it up. Oh, this fragrance is so strong. 
And then whatever you have left over, make sure you just keep it because you're going to need it. So I'm going to sit mine inside my pouring pot as this solidify. And that way it's in a pour, pouring pot slash presto, like it's sitting over top of the presto. I can melt it down and it could become like glue. Guys, this is going to be something really cool, really awesome. Um, I already made my gel. Uh, I did use a lot of red. Like when you do the gel, make sure you use a lot of red. Because I do see people making their uh, cherry drizzle or strawberry drizzle and it looks more on the pink side. So make sure you use a lot of red just to get it like that red that deep 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 red okay so i'm just going to sit it to the side and when it's time i'm going to remelt it down and then we're going to drizzle or whatever but for right now we're going to just let this solidify and then we're going to come back and work on our masterpiece okay all right okay so i already took out one and i had the other one just sitting here still getting hard so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour some wax. I'm going to pour some wax inside of here. Okay. Now make sure you pour it up just to have a nice little layer inside of it. And I'm going to sit it right there. I want a little bit more light. Okay. Alright, cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to dip it. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in wax. Make sure you dip it really good, okay? I'm gonna dip it in wax, then I'm gonna put it on top of here. And I'm gonna let this crust get on here. And it's like one side isn't enough, but I could go back and I could easily, it's an easy fix. So you just kinda do that. Let it get hard. See one little piece right there. Or you can easily just sit it on there, okay? another thing you sit it and then you just kind of sit it and let it um, get hard on there let it solidify and take your next piece I'm just trying to go through this whole process with you guys so you can see and I wanted to do it that way because it kind of gives it like a real crust effect like it really looked like real crust so I like it that way okay I want to make sure you guys can see this because you know, I might just have stuff sitting off the camera. All right. There we go. Drop that cheese. Give me that cheese. Okay. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to do it again. So just kind of dip it in there and just move this around because it might just have wax on it. It might be stuck. Okay. Dip it again. Just kind of take the wax. You can pile it on here too. Dip it right there. Okay, you can just put it on there with your hands as well. I done messed my cheesecake all up because it's not fully solidified, but I guess it'll be all right. Okay, so I just got one little spot right here. Go ahead and put some more on there. Okay, so this really look like some real crush, y'all. Hey, you just get a little messy with it. You're going to get some messy. You're going to get some messy. But okay, so there it is. We're going to leave it. We're going to let it sit there. We're going to let it dry for a little bit. Um, after it dry, then we're going to decorate the top. That's when we're going to put the cherry on there. Um, I'm doing cherry, one cherry, one pineapple. Um, guys, this is going to look really delicious to the point where you're going to definitely have to put on your thing. Do not eat. Guys, I'm going to show you the white plates that I'm using, where I got them from. So you can be able to uh, make sure it look exactly like mine. Get the same plates and everything, okay? Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just setting up my plate and getting it ready. Um, this one has raspberries. And the other one has strawberries. So I wanted to make it like two different kinds of fruit. A strawberry one, a raspberry one. And the next one I'm going to do is a pineapple one. So I want to do like a pineapple cheesecake. I wanted to just have like a variety. So what you're going to do is you're going to set it up. Like you're going to set your cheesecake up. You're going to put the fruit on it and everything. But on top of you putting a fruit on it is just set the side up. Like put some fruit on the side. So it just really look realistic. Like the berries fell off on the plate. And um, I'm melting down my wax. 
Now, the one thing I want to tell you about this melting down process, like you're going to melt your wax down, but I want you to do the drizzle when it's a little thick. Like, I don't want you to just do it right away. Like, oh my God, it melt down this liquid. No, I just wanted to get a little bit thick and you could be able to get like a better drizzle when it's thick and not watery. Okay. When it's watery, it's not good. So I'm letting it melt down and then I'm going to put it inside my pouring pot and then I'm going to pour it over top of the cheesecake. Okay. And I'm going to definitely take you guys through this entire process. That way you can be able to do it on your own and achieve the same results. Okay, so now it's kind of thickening up. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have no shadows because, you know, I don't want you guys to be not, not being able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so now it's kind of thick. So what you could go ahead and do is you could go ahead and just start pouring a little bit just to give it like a tester. And this is perfect. This is perfect pouring right here. And I want it to be on my strawberries and everything. Kind of messy a little bit you know, like on the plate. So I'm gonna pour it from this side, then I'm gonna pour it right there. But I don't wanna pour it all over the whole entire thing. Like I want it to be drizzled in one area. So that's how the plate look. Like once you, right here, this is how you want it to look. Like you want it to look real, you know, from this side to that side. That looks like real cheesecake, okay? So I wanna do the same thing on the other side, but it's thickened up on me. So when it does thicken up, what you do is you go ahead and you remelt it. Don't try to pour it when it's thick like that. Um, I did have these little strawberry chunks to put inside just to kind of give it like a more realistic look. And um, I waited too late, guys. So I'm not even going to worry about that. If you do want to do that, then just kind of mix the strawberry chunks inside the gel. And it will give it like a, a more thick, realistic look, okay? So I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna melt this down so we can do the raspberry. And once we do the raspberry, we pretty much finish with the candle. I'm gonna do a um, pineapple one. But guys, I got these plates from Dollar Tree. So you could go there and get them there a dollar and, they, and you can honestly sell them at a pop-up shop or whatever, or however you wanna do it. Or you could just get the containers off of Amazon to put it in. But this is a great presentation for when you are going to a pop-up shop. You could just kinda have this sitting on your table like that where people could see it and be like, oh my God, is that real food? So we're going to do the raspberry and that's it.